Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create a form and how to put a picture or a photograph in that form. So this is part three of the bookshop database. So let's just recap where we're at. We've got three tables and if I go into database tools, you can see the links for these tables. We've all got one too many links. Just close that. Yep. Now what I want to do in the books table, if I just right click and go into design on that, I want to add two fields just so I can show you the difference between these. So the first one I'm going to call picture and that's going to be set to OLE object, object linking and embedding and then photo, which is going to just leave, I'm just going to leave that on text. So I'll save that and have a look. So to put something in there, so if I right click and insert object under the picture option, you create from file, you browse for the, the picture that you want. So I've got a couple of pictures in here. So if I click on that one, that's what I want. And then I can click OK to that and it drops it in there as a bitmap. Or you can change, I've just changed the format for that and you can see that. If you double click on it, it opens it up in paint because that's what I've got as my default options at the moment. And you can change the default if you want. So that's how it comes out. You can see it. Now, if I do the same for the photo, remember this is a text field. So I want this to appear in a form, uh, nice and neat in a form. So let me just, um, let's try and do this another, let's do another object. Let's do the other one. So the door. OK, and then there you go. You've got the two options. Now, if I do it as text, what I need to do is put the path in here for those two photographs. So if I go to the folders and get myself into documents and then books, when you click up here, you get the path. So it said that's the path to this folder. If you ever don't get the path, you can just right click on these and go into properties and it gives you the path there. Look, but whatever you do, you need to, you need that path. So I've copied that path, copy it there. Now they're both in the same path, so I can just minimize this and paste it in there and paste it in there. Now what I need to do is just get at the end of here and, and then put the actual file path in there, what it is. So if I go back and have a look at properties again. So this is a, it's a ping file, .png, both of them are. So I need to put that extension on, otherwise it doesn't work. So if it was a JPEG, you'd put a JPEG. So this one is called, um, I can't remember which one I've got now. So well, it doesn't matter, it's the door. So I want the door. So it's backslash, the door dot png and then this one is backslash excel for new managers dot png so hopefully that works and you don't do a typo so now when you've got the things like this you'll be able to create a form with this information in it so let's just close this for a second. Yes, I do. And I want to create a form. So create a form. So I'll just do a, a, an automatic form because this is a related table. So straight away, you'll get um, the form as default there. So you can see the picture there for the first book. Now, if I go to the next one, uh, you get the next book and so on. So that's the objects. But on this, on this one, you can just still see the path. So what I need to do on this one is I need to get myself into design, design view, and it's the photo field. I don't want the photo field, not like that anyhow. So what I want to do is under the design tab, I want to get myself um, this tool, an image, blank image. So I'm going to draw myself a huge image down this right hand side. And this is going to come up. I don't want to click any of these. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to cancel this and go to property sheet. So you might need to activate the property sheet. Drop the arrow down and select it from there. 
So now when you have a look at that one, let's have a look. You get um, the picture on the right there. When I go to the next record, it shows you the next one, the next picture. And there wasn't one for the third item. But if I go back and put a another picture in there, you'll see that. Now the pictures aren't marrying up at the moment because I wasn't too careful about what I put in as the object. So this object field is not really needed either. So you can see how small that, I could make this one bigger. If I go into design on this one, and what I need to do is break this, this automatic link here. So under the arrange tab, you've got remove layout as an option, which then makes these individual boxes. So I can move them around. Um, if I'm to select them all first, select everything, remove layout, click away, and then this box now can be positioned. I can move that table down a bit, and let's just make this bigger and it's more like a frame for a picture. And have a quick look at what that looks like. So you've got that option. And you see, you still get this gap. So what you haven't got on the other one, if I go back, let's see if I compare. So there's a gap um, because this image is bigger, but on the top, on this one, there's no sort of like box around these. It's just showing you the image. So you don't get this. It's, it's a small thing, I suppose, but it's the difference between the two. It's totally up to you which one you go for. Um, but I would always go for this option. The downside for this option is, if I just close this off, I will, I will save this. I'll call it um, FRM, FRM books, table books. Yeah. The downside is, if I go into the books table, if these move, then that picture will disappear because that has to be a the path to the book. Otherwise, it's lost. Whereas when you do it like this, you won't lose it because that's just a image is actually in the database. However, the database can get quite large if you fill it full of, full of images, whereas this is just a path to it, almost like a shortcut, if you like. So that's just a quick look at how you can put images in forms and the difference between the two. So hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you in the next one.